nice cleavage. And her tits weren't too bad either. Better yet, she can give me in the head scissors and we'll stay in that position throughout the Brunkow's brawl. If she gives up, you know that I won. If she doesn't give up, you know that I am loving every minute of it. Um, well, Pat Patterson doesn't like me. Pat doesn't like you? No, no, no. Okay. I got was a pretty little kid, believe it or not, one time, and uh, it just got awkward. That's all. That's he, all. Ma he made I, you awkward, and, and you held did, a grudge. Or I did, whatever, you know, my bad. Were you forced to? No, no, my fuck that. No. He had a big schwanz on I'd say he's hung like a fucking elf. Yeah, oh, man. oh yeah. And he would, he would go, and he'd get it running like this, and he'd run around, literally going, Roger! Roger! You know, it's like, oh, dude, come on, get that shit. Well, fine, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, but like, I got nowhere to go. There's nothing yet, man. Well, is it true that you were quoted as saying when you were trying to help out Jim Powers or something, they should call your place World Wrestling Faggots events? Yeah, that's true, Worldwide Faggots. Worldwide Faggots, yeah. Boy, that got out, did it? If I've ever seen anybody, including Stone Cold, have Vince more wrapped or in the palm of his hand than Shawn Michaels. Shawn, Shawn I don't know if it's a sexual. I don't know if it's a sexual deal they got going on because I've heard this about both of them. I'd rather stand there. I said there's something going on here. I think it's a. I think it's a. I used to call it a ball and cock contract. You know, you might want to put that. If you drop your soap in the shower, you look left, you look right, ahead, and behind you before you bent down and picked it up. Go. They'd all be doing cocaine. Uh, they'd be smoking marijuana. They'd be doing whatever they wanted to do. And these girls would be forming sex acts on them. They'd be doing two or three guys on a girl. Bruno San Martino, the first real Mr. Wrestling, claims Vince McMahon's monster mentality led to widespread steroid abuse in the World Wrestling Federation. A hulk of a hero named Hogan is the biggest to take a fall. I myself injected him personally in 1987 in the Pontiac Silver Dome in the Keel Auditorium in St. Louis, in the Cow Palace in San Francisco. Hogan, I gave him steroids. I gave him shots. I personally have injected Hulk Hogan. He personally injected me. The Hulk was also addicted to an even more dangerous drug, cocaine. And he refused when Hogan offered to share a snort. He said, don't start taking cocaine, brother. Don't start taking it, man, because it's hard to get off of. And as he gave me this lecture, when he finished it, he proceeded to put the three lines of cocaine up his nose. Vince McMahon says, hey, man, I want you bigger. You're going to take steroids to get bigger. If not, you're not going to have a job. He goes through people and abuses people and, and then and throws them away. He's a pig. I was fired because I wouldn't have sex with the vice president of operations. Murray Hodgson was hired by Vince McMahon and signed a two-year contract with the WWF. Pat Patterson, the vice president of operations, was never charged with sexual harassment, but resigned when Hodgson filed suit. I just told him, I'm sorry, you've got the wrong guy. And he candidly told me, not if I wanted to keep my job, I didn't, and that I should think about it. I turned him down, and just a few weeks later, I was out on the street without a job. They're taking steroids. They're involved in child sex abuse. We've got allegations of, 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 of animals being hurt here and killed. This is not, this is not family entertainment. The most serious were raised by former ring boy Tom Cole. He says the top WWF executives sexually harassed and abused ring boys. The teenagers hired to put up and take down rings at matches. The New York Post reported the allegations and broke the story nationally. Wrestling legend Bruno San Martino confirms Cole's allegations. The talk was on the inside that there were certain people within the organizations that were hiring these kids for one purpose and one purpose only. As far as wrestlers themselves, there, there was always been talk of some up-and-coming, good-looking young wrestlers who, uh, who were put in situations that if they wanted to further their career, if they wanted to advance, if they wanted to climb that ladder, that they would have to cooperate. And, and, and if they did not, then their career would be nowhere. Former wrestler Barry Orton also accuses the hierarchy of the WWF of homosexual harassment. Orton implicates two top executives, the former vice president of operations, Pat Patterson, and his former assistant, Terry Garvin, as well as ring announcer Mel Phillips. He told us that Garvin came on to him. About uh, 40 miles out of Amarillo, heading west on Interstate 40, uh, he started proposing 
that I allow him to perform a certain sexual task on me while I was driving. Former WWF referee Mike Clark says Garvin also approached him in a hotel room. He said, if you want to come to the television tapings, I'll bring you to the next television tapings, and I'll book you across every event in Canada. And I said, geez, that would be great. And he then said to me, he says, well, uh, how would you like to lie on the bed and uh, have me perform oral sex on you? And I'll give you $500. They said to me that you needed a green card to come to the United States to work. And the only way that was feasible was if you became a member of what they call the cream team. Cream team? What is that supposed to mean? Well, this is uh, what they call the, the ring crew the people who set up the rings and the referees throughout the United States that are doing sexual favors for certain bosses in the World Wrestling Federation. But when he was caught with a young boy in a car, they talked to this young boy and said, why? Why, why, why are you allowing this? And he says, well, he says, I get to go to all the TV tapings here in Allentown or Hamburg, both, both for free. I get to meet a lot of the wrestlers they introduced me to and even take pictures with a lot of them. You know, that's why allegedly lured boys as young as 12 or 13 with promises they couldn't resist. Though McMahon has gone on record saying that he wasn't aware of any child sex abuse, we have learned that he fired Phil a few years ago because he suspected these activities. He then hired him back. There is no question Vince not only knew it was going on, but it certainly wouldn't be a surprise or any shock that he was involved himself. Did he cover up and did he take part? Either I had sex with him and satisfied him or I went nowhere, and it was blacklist. First time you walk down or past a newsstand and see your face on Time magazine, um, there's all kinds of money to be made here. You know, you're looking at like a half a million dollar a year contract, and on and on and on. Rita Marie is the only player in the WWF scandal to level charges of sexual harassment directly at McMahon. Vince unzipped his pants, and he took my hand, and he kept putting my hand on his on his penis. He started telling me that uh, he knew I didn't have a job. I had left Frito-Lay because of him. He knew that I had a daughter and that he could either make me or break me. The choice was mine. And he made me have oral sex with him. And he started to get really excited. And I pulled away, and he got really angry and said that it was worth a half a million dollars a year. And when I said no, he said that I'd better satisfy him. And he started pulling my pants off. And he pulled me on top of him. And he satisfied himself through intercourse. 22-year-old Tom Cole was hired as a ring boy for the World Wrestling Federation when he was 13 years old. For the next three years, he says he was sexually abused by his supervisor, Mel Phillips, who Cole says has a foot fetish. And Cole says there were other abusers besides Phillips. I was grabbed on numerous occasions in my on my testicles and my buttocks by uh, Pat Patterson of the World Wrestling Federation. And uh, Terry Garvin propositioned me when I was 16, offered me cocaine and all kinds of drugs to uh, have sex with him. When I refused, I was let go from the company when I was 16. And then I returned again when I was 19. I was let go again because I refused Terry Garvin's advances. You call a man filming your feet for hours at a time and playing with your feet and making you cry when you're only 13 years old old and re recording it for his own um, sexual purposes if you call, if she calls that normal then obviously there's something wrong with her also Jimmy Superfly Snooker rose to fame in the 1980s with his trademark Superfly Splash Can he still fly? Yes! In 1983 his girlfriend Nancy Argentino was found bruised and gasping for air in their motel room in Allentown Pennsylvania 23 year old Nancy died the next day an autopsy found she suffered from a fractured skull and 39 contusions and abrasions. But the investigation went nowhere. Grand jury says Snooker gave different explanations for Nancy's injuries. At first, he said she fell as they were fooling around outside the motel room. Later, he said it happened when they stopped on the road to go to the bathroom.